Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rider Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So here's a brand that I've never covered before on my YouTube channel. This is called JJ Parfum. And I have six fragrances in front of me here. Three of them are new. The other three are a little bit on the older side. I've actually seen reviews for a couple of them. So I'm really excited to get on with my thoughts and experience this brand for the first time, first impressions live here on camera. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin with my first impressions on six fragrances from JJ Parfum, this discovery set was sent to me by the company. I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like reviews, first impressions, giveaways, top tens and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's video. Now, I have seen a few reviews on Equus. I know, of course, Carlos, Brooklyn Fragrance lover owned that fragrance and I think I've had the opportunity to try it at his house and I remember really enjoying it and also Daver from the fragrance bros actually did a video on that fragrance as well and so I have never tried these fragrances with the exception of that first one and so I put it right in the number one spot just so that I can smell it first before smelling the other fragrances but I'm very excited to get this review underway I'm very excited to just experience brand new fragrances in general that's what I live for uh, it's always a really exciting thing for me to try something that I've never smelled before. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. And the first one that we're gonna be smelling is Equus number eight. And so I do remember this one being a little bit on the darker side. Hmm, wow, there's actually something ambery about it too. So it opens up rather warm. Oh, there's definitely something spicy in here, something smoky, something spicy. You have some warm resins in here. I don't know if it also has like a bit of an earthy patchouli about it. I'm not going off of any note breakdown, so I do apologize for that. I could mention some notes that are not necessarily in the fragrance. Oh, but this is pleasantly dark and mysterious, and it has a really enticing and enigmatic aroma about it. I'm really enjoying this one. And it's kind of like a bad boy or bad girl kind of a scent, right? If you want to wear something on the dark side, something mysterious, something that's a little bit smoky. I don't know if there's birch tar or cade in here, but it definitely gives off this dark, slightly smoky, incense -y quality that I think is really, really appealing. I'm enjoying Equus number no. eight by JJ Parfum. Oh wow, this is really nice and it actually starts to warm up a little bit. And so there are some resins, some balsamic facets in the base that kind of give it that ambery appeal. The next fragrance that I'm gonna be taking a look at is Sentier de Comet. And this means Comet Trails or the Path of Comets. And so I'm excited to try this one just because of the name. I really don't know what to expect. If it's gonna be an atmospheric fragrance or whatnot. Ooh, wow. So this one is actually a bit sweeter than its predecessor. There's something floral in here, I think, but I'm also getting like a vanillic type of a sweetness. And so it's, it's warm. I would also say that this one is a little bit ambery as well, but this one doesn't have any of the smokiness or any of that incense -y quality that Equus number no. eight has. So this one is very much so on the sweet side. But I don't know if I would classify it as a gourmand. I don't think it's sweet enough to be a gourmand. I think there's a lot of complexity in there, maybe some tonka beans, some vanilla, some resins as well, perhaps some floral ingredients, maybe a little bit of citrus in the opening as well. But my nose went straight to that vanillic sweetness, if that makes sense. And so this one is a very agreeable DNA. I can see this being a fan favorite if it isn't already a fan favorite. I think it's very accessible. I think it's incredibly pleasant, very nice and agreeable and easy to wear. And a beautifully done fragrance in my opinion. So I'm really enjoying this one, Sentier de Comet. Oh wow, I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy that one. And so with Equus number eight, night out on the town, you wanna convey your dark side, maybe you're a little edgy. 
this one sends here the Comet something a little bit more mellow with enough of that agreeable sweetness. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Uh, the next one, excuse me, I grabbed the wrong bottle. Uh, this one is called York Number no. 7. So let's see what this one is all about. Oh, very fresh. <laughs> very fresh, a lot of citrus. So it opens up very fresh, very citrusy. Uh, just from initial impressions, it's an incredibly versatile fragrance. This is the type of fragrance that I, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I spotted a note in there that I love. Mint, there's mint in here. And you feel it, it just sort of opens up your nasal passages. So if I had to guess, I would say it's spearmint. Peppermint for me, I always had these peppermint candies at my old job and I used to have like one a day and it has a little bit of like a sweetness and I, I can typically associate the smell of peppermint. Here I believe I'm getting spearmint. I love this one. So this is citrus and mint. Office friendly, very bright, very invigorating, uh, very rejuvenating. Ooh, I think this is my favorite so far. And this is the fragrance that if I owned it, I would wear it four or five times out of the week just because it's that, uh, you know, burst of energy that one needs in the morning. Oh, very invigorating, very, very fresh, very inviting, and also unisex as well. I think this is an awesome, awesome fragrance. What is this one again? York number no. seven. So this one is amazing. I love that one. So far, that is my favorite. All of them have their own personality, um, and I, I can see them all being amazing for different occasions and different situations, but for me, um, thinking about the frequency with which I would wear a certain fragrance, I think I would wear York number no. seven a whole lot. The next one that we're talking about is one of the new ones. I'm very excited to try this one. It's called Sunken Garden. Sunken Garden. So let's see what this one is all about. Just from the name Garden, I'm expecting something maybe green, aromatic, floral, so on and so forth. And yeah, there's definitely a floral tonality about it. And I really like this one. So this is floral, but there's like a resinous quality about it. I know it sounds weird, but as I smell it, it almost kind of feels like I'm smelling, and I'm sure it's not in the note breakdown because it's such an obscure note, but mastic oil or lentisque. There's kind of like this slightly sweet, resinous, balsamic profile in the base. But I also think that I'm getting a little bit of, it's a clean floral, so maybe like a gardenia or jasmine. And also I think a little bit of magnolia as well. And so I'm trying to think of what fragrance it reminds me of. And there's another one that I've experienced within the past few months by Hermes, called Un Jardin Sur La Lagune. And I know it's a few years old Jean-Claude Elena composition, if I'm not mistaken. And that one has a lot of magnolia. And that fragrance reminded me, or I guess brought to my attention, the fact that I actually am a fan of magnolia. It's one of those floral ingredients that I really enjoy. Very tranquil, very meditative. And I'm getting something similar from this, but I'm also getting a little bit of like a quirky resinous dry down. I know that sounds really weird, um, but I'm getting this clean white floral component with maybe a little bit of magnolia. I hope I'm not wrong on that. I like this one. This is awesome. The next fragrance is Golden Aura. So I wonder what notes are gonna be in here to convey that golden quality, if it's gonna be a little bit of amber. Let's see what this one is all about. Ooh, wow. This one is nice. Wow, <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, wow. Oh, there's like a creaminess, there's something sweet about it. Just saying that right away kind of reminds me of sandalwood, just that creamy sweetness, or at least that's kind of like the, um, the mnemonic association that I've made with this one. Whenever I think of like that smell, I usually think of sandalwood, but 
There's something woodsy about this one, maybe in addition to the sandalwood, maybe a little bit of cedar wood. There's another like slightly sweet woodsy profile about this one. Maybe also a little bit of amber as well. Wow, I love this one. And this smells very rich, very expensive, very opulent, very refined and distinguished as well. Ooh, I think this one is gonna be a fan favorite. I still stand by what I said before. I think York number seven is probably gonna be the most versatile one. Uh, perfect for the office. If you wanna get compliments, if you wanna wear something that has a lot of character, has a lot of personality, but is accessible in a wide variety of situations, I think York number seven is gonna be your pick. But I think um, the uh, path to infinity is the last one, so I wanna smell this one just before I draw any ultimate conclusions, if you will. So Path to Infinity, beautiful name by the way. And it already puts me in a sort of mindset as to what I'll expect, you know, something eternal, something very graceful, something also maybe enigmatic. Ooh, wow. So, interesting, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what I'm smelling here. It's taking a while for me to register. So, it's a little floral. It's citrusy. I wanna say there's a bit of a spiciness. There's a little bit of a woodsy component as well. I don't have any one specific ingredient jumping out at me though. And that's the thing that really gets to me. Maybe also still a little bit minty or there's something in there, maybe geranium or something that's giving that like pseudo minty presence. Maybe not necessarily a spearmint or a peppermint, maybe eucalyptus, maybe geranium. Cause it opens up very bright, maybe even like a rosy quality, but still a little woodsy, a little spicy. Wow. This is awesome. I'm really enjoying this one. I think this rivals York number seven in terms of its versatility. So let's just recap. With Equus, smoky, maybe patchouli, right? Kind of like a smoky patchouli, birch tar, um, kind of a scent, kind of along the lines of like a patchouli 24 by Le Labo or Fumidus by Profumum Roma, or Vetiver by Lorenzo Villoresi. It's one of those dark, earthy, smoky, patchouli, spicy, incense -y types of fragrances. Quite amazing. The next one, which was Sentier de Comet. Kind of a sweet vanilla scent. Very warm, very inviting, very delectable. Then we have York number seven. Oh, mint and citrus, absolutely amazing. With maybe some clean white florals in the heart. Sunken Garden, which is kind of a magnolia fragrance. Also some clean white florals, very well done, very tranquil and meditative. Golden Aura, oh, amazing. Sandalwood, um, also some resins, some balsamic richness. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And then Path to Infinity, Incredibly complex, still a touch of sweetness in the dry down, some spiciness. All of these are incredibly well done, incredibly unique and original. I love the quality of these fragrances. I did not smell a single fragrance here that made me think, oh, this smells similar to XYZ. I can tell they're all made from the ground up. They're all incredibly unique. They all have their own distinct personality, which I really enjoy. And I would say if I had to pick a favorite, so far it would be Golden Aura. Going into the autumn months, I'm talking about late September, October, November, early December, that's the type of fragrance that I think I will wear the most given how cold it can get here in New Jersey. Golden Aura is absolutely amazing, but I also really enjoy the complexity of Path to Infinity. I enjoy that dark charismatic nature of Equus number eight and I love the versatility of York number seven. These are beautiful fragrances, and I would like to thank the founder of the brand for sending me this discovery set. 
I certainly look forward to reviewing one of these fragrances uh, in the very near future. And so I think it's gonna be Golden Aura because I'm just in love with it. I think it's so unique. And as soon as I get off uh, recording this video, I'm gonna look up the note breakdown and I'm gonna see how well I did. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something of value. If you did, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and remember to enable all notifications by clicking on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Links are gonna be down below to where you can purchase a discovery set and experience these fragrances. I love you all and we'll see you soon. Bye.